Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. I am the gentleman who has gone rogue. Now, gentlemen, in my personal opinion, the modern day black woman mindset holds nothing sacred. A modern day black woman would take vows in front of God and say before God and before men that I would take this man to be my husband to honor and to cherish him, only to fail God and only to fail the men and all those who observed it. Because modern day black women today only care about themselves. They only care about sexual gratification or how much money you can put into their pockets. So what I'm going to do is show you a video of a woman who did such a heinous act towards her husband on the day of her wedding. Let me upload the clip. Did you cheat on him? It was did, more. Did you cheat on him? I was forced him. to cheat on him, Your Honor, because I needed to find a man. I needed a man to take care you of me and married his children. Him. You just married but him. But I had been dealing with him for years prior to that. She needed a real man. What she's saying is she needed some extra pipe on the side. This woman has been a hoe, and she said that she'd been dealing with him for a long period of time. That doesn't matter. If you get married, if you're going to cheat on your husband, if you're going to be an adulteress who believes in adultery, then you should at least wait to after the damn honeymoon. You should at least wait to after the wedding day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an example of how women are so self-centered and so self-entitled that they will betray the most sacred thing in life, marriage. If you were so dissatisfied with who he was that you were forced into the arms of another man on the day of your wedding, why in the world did you marry him in the first place? Because I, I truly did love him. I truly did love him. So tell me, how is that love? So did the love run out on the wedding day? Did the love run out when the other man pulled his Johnson out for you to suck on? Did the love run out when you were licking all over his sack and eating his booty? When did the love end? What forced you into the arms of another man? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. There's no such thing as being forced into the arms of another man. You choose to go into the arms of another man, regardless of the circumstances that you're going through with the gentleman that you're with. Regardless if you're married or you're engaged or if you're just a girlfriend, you make a conscious decision to be a hoe. You don't wake up one day and uncontrollably, un without control, excuse me, become a hoe. It's not as if you go to Walmart, go down aisle three, and all of a sudden your coochie pops out and it says, feed me. No, you make a decision to be a whore. Now, I'm going to go to this other clip right quick. And there's going to be an African gentleman, I believe, that's going to explain why it's difficult and terrible to marry American black women. I prefer not to get married to an American woman is because most American women are wired for divorce. Many of them come into your life just to divorce you. They are okay with going through a divorce. They are not willing to take any heat. Any little thing, I'm about to go to the car, I'm about to go to the court and get a divorce with you right now. I ain't playing with you, boy. I don't want you no more. I'm, I'm going to check out this relationship. And he is, he is absolutely right. A lot of women come going. A lot of women get into things to get out of things. They go into a relationship already expecting it to fail. They're already expecting it to not to work out. Or because of their insecurities, they already have backup plans, backup man. Sometimes women get with you just because of the hypergamous nature that they have. Sometimes they just want what you got or they want to have the, the time to use your stuff. Even if they know they can't ever own it. If you got a nice ride, a nice car, they want to be in it. They want to drive behind the wheel. Don't pay any notes just so that their girlfriends and their homies can see her drive a nice car. So they can think, yo, she got the best game. She running game on all the simps. Look how she get down. But at the end of the day, she isn't worth anything. She isn't worth one bag of Lay's potato chips. She has no value. That's why it doesn't pay to marry some of these modern day black women because their minds operate in scarcity and lack and fear and they are so selfish i do not want to go through that most american women live on fast food check out kfc popeye chicken and you know, <laughs> mcdonald's i do not 
want to go through having to buy food every day outside. This is he makes a very legitimate point there as all also. A lot of modern day black women do not know how to cook and are they are not even willing to learn how to cook for you brothers. And they have a bad unhealthy habit of eating unhealthy foods. They will go to Burger King every day, every other hour. Taco Bell every day, every other hour. Eating out every day, every other hour. And don't have the money to live this lifestyle, but they expect you to pay for it. Take me out on dates, pay for the meal, and I'll give you some coochie. Coochie ain't worth anything. You know how easy it is to get coochie? But what's hard is to find a woman that got standards and morals, that believes that the traditional way of living in a relationship is that of a woman who is traditional, who is feminine, who is humble, who is beautiful on the inside as well as on the outside, who has a meek and humble spirit. They don't believe in that. That's the only reason why I would prefer to get married to an, an African woman because African women, they have been trained to make food in the house. They have been trained to stay in relationships no matter what happens. Now notice what he says, trained. See, people from different cultural backgrounds, that is true. They teach their young daughters how to serve they, their men when they get married and it starts in the house. They'll teach them how to serve their brothers and their fathers first so they can have an understanding of how to treat a husband. They're trained. Even the scripture says train up a child in the way they should go and they won't soon depart from that. You have to teach these young daughters and young men how to be right. But the problem is today's modern day mother, they too busy being in competition with their own daughters, trying to look as sexy as their daughters, trying to dress like their daughters, trying to see how many penises, penises that they can suck on, how many booties they can eat, how many sacks they can lick on. That's all they do. They put on fake eyelashes. The, if the daughter get a fake eyelash, the mother got to get one that's longer than the fake eyelashes on the daughter. This is real life, gentlemen. This is real life. Women from different countries, this is why people are getting passports to get women who have been raised right. A lot of these women don't have home training, man. It's very difficult for an African woman to get a divorce. Now, I want to also comment on that. He said, like, they are trained <clears throat> to stay in relationships no matter what. That means... Even if the money is funny, they're going to stay. That most people divorce because of money. Even if a woman get bored, she's going to stay because she's been taught to be a wife. See, women don't understand that being a wife is a duty. It's a duty. It's not just a position of where you can say, I'm married. No, it's not that at all. They've been trained to be righteous. Let's go to the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Texting another man while she's in the car with her boyfriend. This ass, I done took this on dates. I make sure this good. I make sure her kids good. I do everything for this. I don't even call women, bro. And I'm looking, she in her phone the whole fucking time we ride. And I, I, I know I'm tripping because I'm seeing the shit through the fucking wind thing right there. Like when it's dark, you can see that shit. Text her. Now, what it is, he had a woman that he most likely been providing for or he's in love with. And when a man speaks like that, he got so much emotion, he got emotion towards a woman that hurt him. So she'd been on the other side of the passenger, passenger seat while he's driving the whip, texting another man. And if you read the stuff that's on here, I'm talking about you missed this penis. That's the dude texting her. She's the one in the blue. The dude in the gray is the one texting her, the dude that she's cheating with, asking her, thinking about you and miss you more, baby. She's sending emojis like a little bitch. And then he said, you missed this pipe. And she said, you know I do. That's because once again, as you always say, as I always say, these women out here eating booty, licking on sacks, sucking on penis, swallowing man milk. They love the taste of man milk. They can't get enough for drinking baby gravy. And that's what's going on with this problem right here. Texting a whole nother motherfucking What's up, babe? What you doing? I miss you. Thinking about you. I miss you more, baby. You miss this. My, this for me the whole. Now I'm going to pause so you can read it. It says, you miss this dog. She said, you know I do. You know I missed that pipe. So look at the grade. The dude says, I'm definitely trying to bend that ass over ASAP. That man probably putting it in the other hole. The one that stink, not the one that wink. That's his girl, though. And she said, yes, I'm trying to give you that good head. Talking about the 3,000. 
What you talking about? She's trying to give you that 3,000, that guac guac 3,000, where she used that double hand twist, where she used both hands, and she go guac 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 guac. Every time she suck on it, you're going to hear a guac 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 guac. And she might spit on it. And then she lick around the vein that's on that meat. And then she come back and kiss you. She got baby gravy in her mouth. You think she been eating powdered donuts because you see white stuff around her lips. But really, it's another man's children. Think about that, Jack. Oh, good time. With me the whole good time. Having this whole conversation with another, my baby. I keep pausing it so you can read it. After she said she wanted to give him that good guac guac 3000. The brother on the bottom, he said, hell yeah, I need that right now. And this is a sad story, but I got to admit, I need that my damn self. Some guac 3000. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, she been sucking on them, eating food and everything else. And she down there with a, 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 a gif, a gift, talking about come back. That means she can't wait to suck this man up. And then look at the title, how she got his name. It says, my baby, free food. So what does that mean, gentlemen? Sometimes a little word, a few words say a whole lot of shit. Free food. This means this man is buying the food, taking her out, going. This is what a lot of these hoes want. Who don't appreciate a good man this is what a lot of hoes want they don't like stability they want to keep going out but they don't have money themselves to go out they want someone to keep on romancing them that ain't how life works buddy it don't so you're going out there have your good time and suck on men pipe and devalue yourself even more be the truest whore that you can be don't let no one stop you from being a slut because meanwhile decent men gonna get a decent one free food like he got me fucked up I apologize for calling women, but this a she a, I don't give a like this shit don't make no sense, but like all the shit you can do for a motherfucker, and this how they can do you. This how they do you. Why you coming with me? He mad, ain't he, Jack? Sucking on another daddy, yo. This shit don't make no sense, bro. Like, how the fuck? Look at this shit. I'm so, I'm so mad, dog. I'm so mad. And she want to come up. Look, look at that. Look, look, look. 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 Look or if she piss you off enough, you might think about homicide. But it is what it is. These women don't care like they used to. Now, that's I talk about a certain type of woman. There are some women that ain't like this. But it's a majority of, of hoes like this. If you get a hoe and you decide to leave that hoe, stay gone. Stay gone. If you have a hoe and she leaves you, stay gone. Stay gone. Why? Because she's going to bring down your spirit. All that negative energy will attach itself to you. Now, I don't believe in keeping ex-girlfriends as friends. I say hi and bye. I never stay in friendships with a woman that uh, is my ex. I will fuck them. That's about it. But the reason is you don't, why you don't stay a friend is because after you get them draws and you clap them cheeks, she going to cash out you for money, ask you for shit. Can you run me here? Can you ride me there? I need help with this and help you. Uh -uh, don't be friends with no ex-girlfriend. And if you can, don't even hit it. But if you do hit it, that's don't take it no further than that. Because when you was her boyfriend, husband, or fiance, you showed her the most intimate parts of you. You shared she you shared secrets with her. She got to see a side of you that nobody else got to see because you trusted her. Now, if a woman gets demoted into not being your girlfriend or whatever it's gonna be, and she betrayed those trust that you put on her because you thought she was special, don't how can you think? That she'll make a better friend than she did when she was your girl. These women are gonna keep asking you for shit. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.